you want a film that sums up all the forgettability about Disney, I'd probably point to The Aristocats. I've only seen this movie once or twice in my life, and every time I have, I've totally forgotten that I even watched it. Again, like most Disney movies, there's nothing really that terrible about it. I just can't find anything really spectacular about it. Or even that good. Disney movies like this really annoy me, though, because it's just being cutesy for the sake of being cutesy. Okay, what's the story? This butler finds that he's gonna inherit a bunch of cats. And it turns out he hates cats. He's allergic to them and can't stand them. So he tries to get rid of them through the old-fashioned cliché of throwing them off a bridge. Which, by the way, am I the only one disturbed that that's an old-fashioned cliché? Do people actually do this? What the fuck was wrong with folks back then? Well, anyway, there are these two pretty funny dogs that chase him down, and we do get a pretty entertaining chase scene out of it. But after that, it's just the cats trying to find their way home, and the other interesting cats that they come across along the way. There's no depth, there's no intrigue, there's no interesting twists and turns, there's no fun adventure. It's just cats looking cute and bouncing around to fun music. I don't know, even as a kid I remember being really bored by this movie. I hear other people liked it when they were younger, but I don't know many that like it now that they're older. I actually find it one of the weaker Disney films simply because it leaves little to no impact. Even Disney when it made its biggest mistakes at least left memorable mistakes. This one I never even have any memory of watching. Yeah, I'm probably being too harsh on it, it probably was meant for much, much younger kids, but from Disney, I expected a lot more. Better story, better characters, better animation. Personally, I'd skip it. Everybody, everybody, everybody wants to be a cat. Mm -hmm.